This is Beautiful People Tampa Bay, sponsored by Advent Health. In this morning's Beautiful People, meet the founder of a unique bookstore that just opened in the heart of Tampa Heights. She says her goal is to elevate black authors and liberate banned books. Quite the mission, right? It's in Tampa Bay's Ginny Dean spent some time there recently. Tell us about it. Yeah, Frankie Caitlin, I could have spent all day there. Gwendolyn Henderson, she's going to be a familiar face to many of you in Tampa. She was born and raised here. She was a teacher at Jefferson High School for 30 years. And just last year, she was elected to Tampa City Council. But it's her most recent accomplishment that truly shows who she is and what she stands for. Late last year, she opened the Black English Bookstore. This is my bookstore, Black English Bookstore. Gwen Henderson knew she was taking a risk opening this store, but it was one she knew she was ready to take last September on her way home from a city council meeting. The for lease sign was in this building, and I'm so glad that I did not take the regular street home. I drive through the neighborhood. I just do that anyway, and the for lease sign had just gone up 30 minutes before I called her. Then she needed a name. And I didn't want my bookstore to be named Gwen's Bookstore or anything like that, so I just relaxed. And one day I'm reading an article in the New York Times, a reprint of James Baldwin's essay, If Black English is Not a Language, Then Tell Me What Is. And there it is. And I knew immediately, because I'm a rebel, and I wanted it to be very obvious that this is a black bookstore, a black authored bookstore. Each section of the store meticulously researched and labeled. This section is called Mind Your Business. And the reason why is because it's a little bit of everything in terms of what black folks need regarding mental health, our marriages, our struggle, affirmations, body image, just so many different things. Helping readers understand why diversity should be understood and celebrated. This is the space where we, I can prove to people that our language should be unapologetic. And right. so I um, really, really, really wanted to capture that. So I did all of the research to find books that you know, are representative of our culture. And even though this bookstore is filled with predominantly black authors, Gwen says this is a safe space for everyone to learn. It is just that special that people, um, a diverse group of people are entering this space and they're seeing things that they may not otherwise see. And Gwen is happy to answer questions and give recommendations. A girl came up to me with an Angela Davis book, and she was a white female, and she said, is this a good book? And I said, well, you gonna need a glass of wine when you read it. <laughs> in the six weeks since the bookstore opened, Gwen says it's been an unbelievable success, even if it is a lot of hard work. And after 30 years of teaching and motivating teens. So this actually, being on council and the bookstore, in a crazy way, this is actually pretty easy. <laughs> you know, that's, because I'm an educator. She is so, n never stops educating, right? No. She's incredible. That's what's so important to her is that she can give people this information uh -huh. and give it in a way that's safe. Right. People can ask With some humor. It. Yes, and she's a, she's just so warm and so inviting, and yeah. so is the store. By the way, uh, in case you're interested, she has a whole section supporting HBCUs. She's mm -hmm. a proud Rattler a HBCU grad from Florida A&M, and she just wanted to make sure she gives back to them and appreciates all the hard work. Yeah, Incredible. My daughter's at an HBCU right now. Another way to learn something and another way to support black businesses. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Black sure. female-owned businesses, yeah. no less. All the way around. Good stuff. Thank you, Jenny.